What does it mean to be human? What is it about our species that sets us apart from every other living creature on this planet, past or present? The short answer is our creative impulse, our ability to perceive life in an abstract symbolic manner, and our desire to communicate these ideas to others. But where did the search come from, and how long ago did it start? My name is Genevieve von Petzinger, and I study some of the oldest rock art in the world. It was created by our distant ancestors between 10,000 and 40,000 years ago, during a time in Europe known as the Ice Age. I'm a PhD student in anthropology at the University of Victoria, and I'm honoured to have been awarded a Shirk doctoral scholarship to support my current research project. So you're probably asking yourself, sure the art's pretty, but what would a researcher actually learn from studying these images? Well, one of the questions that people in my field of paleoanthropology are always trying to answer is when did we become us? People who had the same bodies and brain size that we do first appear in Africa about 200,000 years ago, but what we don't know is when they started thinking and acting like us. When did they start tapping into all of those higher brain functions that allow us to think in the abstract, to complete tasks like solving mathematical equations, or do things like invent cars or computers, or even allow us to create and appreciate works of art? And this is where the ancient art comes in. Painting or engraving images on cave walls is not very practical for survival. It doesn't provide shelter, heat, or food, so why were they doing it? I'm trying to answer this question by studying the abstract geometric markings at these prehistoric rock art sites. At many of them, the signs outnumber the images of the animals and humans by a ratio of at least two to one, and yet very little research has been done on them. My project so far has shown that there were distinct patterns to how these enigmatic symbols were being used. This suggests that they were meaningful to their creators and could very well have been an early form of communication. I'm currently studying how the geometric signs move between people and regions within Europe, as this gives us an idea of how much contact groups may have had with each other and the sort of information they might have been sharing. From the ancient open-air rock art sites of northern Portugal to the depths of caves in France, Spain, and Italy, my project involves doing fieldwork at many of these sites to create, for the first time, visual documentation of these mysterious geometric images. This data will then be added to my database, made up of almost 400 Ice Age sites, and this is the information I will be using to ask questions about what was going on and what might have been changing inside the minds of the people who lived during this early chapter of our history. Why does this research matter? Well, more than just studying some old art, what I'm really exploring is our collective beginnings. Not only am I trying to understand when did humans become truly modern in every sense of the word, I'm also hoping to learn more about how the sharing of ideas and the creation of symbols by our distant ancestors may have laid the foundation for so many of the inventions and technologies that we take for granted today.